but Ben Morley so he would certainly be very much hoping to get some points in this one this is potentially his heat easiest race of the evening alongside Todd Kurtz of course the two opposing number twos as the race gets underway and uh, well, it's a good start by Ben Morley on the outside he's come around the outside to lead the way he hasn't seen fresh air in front of him so far tonight but he is in heat number eight he leads the way from in second place Tom Brennan and Henry Atkins were there having a good battle there Todd Kurtz that's a surprise he is at the back as Atkins well, can he just get the better of Brennan look how close it is between those two young Englishmen as Brennan goes out wide it's very tight indeed as Morley still leads the way with Atkins having seen they've got the better of it Tom Brennan now he's trying to get the better of Ben Morley but Matt Morley still holding him at bay cracking action in heat number eight Brennan comes back on the outside of Atkins as they start the final lap it is Morley then who leads the way from Henry Atkins in second place Tom Brennan in third Todd Kurtz unable to get a look in, in this one as Morley is who's going to come round and is he going to take the victory yes he does he holds off by a, a bike length second place goes to Henry Atkins who did very well there to see off the challenge of Tom Brennan uh, with uh, Brennan having to settle for third place uh, Atkins will at one time it looks as if he, was, he got through in the first place but he had to settle for second in eventually Ben Morley scoring his first points of the meeting after a pointless couple of uh, rides he'd be delighted with that a 4-2 for the visitors and Eastbourne were well, close within a couple of points they move on to 23 the Rebels lead, lead in on 25